testimony of a Christian. I know everybody wants to hear your own testimony. <laughs> yes, sir. I know, I know everybody wants to hear your testimony. Yes, sir. I hope you won't fall under anointing. Okay, you, you, you may be seated. Sit down so that you don't fall under anointing. Yes. yes sir. From a door. Uromi. Yes, sir. Uromi. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> and here you are serving the Lord today. Yes, sir. How far from where to where and where are you? Yes, sir. As a child of prophecy from the beginning, mm. uh, my mother was giving birth to women, women. Then um, at the time, you, you know what I'm asking? Say, from where to where? Where are you now? Because you say your own, you are also unstoppable grace. Yes, sir. You are, you are a product of, of unstoppable, unstoppable grace. That's right, sir. And we want to know that grace. Yes, sir. Yes, your sir. mother. It all started through prophecy. When a madman saw my mother on the road to the From market. a madman? Yes. On the way to the market and. <laughs> What's my <a> madman? <laughs> Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I went to the market. A madman saw her and said, "You say they begin, they die, they die, they die. When they come now, it is your womb already, Amen. and you will have that boy. He said, and the boy, and when you give birth to that boy, that boy will be uh, God's chosen one. After that boy, no more child will die in your hands." So my mother, my mother, she didn't know that. She before was, you, your mother was giving birth. And, and before she was dying, she was conceived. Yes, before now, she conceived the child would die. If it's a boy, oh, if it's a boy, yes, but the girls, no problem. If it's a girl, no problem. Mm. Mom is a boy, would die. So the madman told her, and she said, "Pregnant girl, she's not pregnant now." The man was a man, laughed at her, and went away. So she was going to the market. She was worried about the word Prophecy. of that madman. So she went for checkup. They told her that she was pregnant. Amen. And <laughs> my story is a long story. <laughs> so um, she gave birth to me and it was a boy. Ooh. At the day of delivery, she was at the backyard farm, those farm, uh, vegetable farm near the houses in the village. She was there trying to have best vegetable to cook. The small time the water burst out, the baby was coming. So she was rushing to uh, go to the, I mean, enter the house. That place they used to put uh, goats. I went to hear goats. There's a fall, a fall house that fell at the back. So they say, where is this hear goat there? So they put animal food. Mm. So that place, that place looked foamy. Yes. Look like foam. So if you put that, put the bed on the ground, baby may injure. She ran quickly ran there, and baby came out on that place. Without going to hospital. No hospital. <laughs> and she gave birth to me there. I'm understanding so many things. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. She gave birth to me there, and people came and cut, cut, and they were going to her. They cut the thing, cut, cut, cut. No injection, no hospital, until I become three months. Ooh. So three months old, uh, people were telling her, ah, because of you cannot grow without you taking him to the hospital for checkup. Then he, she said, the baby is okay. He's just okay. Everything is okay. And that this child is a different child. He doesn't Hallelujah. understand. How can the child come? Do it in the morning, no sign in the morning, just to cut the table, bend down. Baby started pushing, 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 water bus. And before she could run to the house, it was the easiest place that could get foam. I mean, a soft place. That was the where they used to rear those goats. That is, the baby did not want to follow the normal way. <laughs> Go ahead. So, <laughs> so she gave birth to the child, and the child was growing. So, as I grew up, seven years. Birthday. Mm. I remember when it was seven year birthday. So after school, we came to the house. My father said, Call that you'll be coming to join the birthday. It was not around. So at that date, as everybody left me in the parlor, everybody went to their rooms. Three angels appeared from the wall. Pian Pian. It was the wall. Appeared. They just came like that. They appeared and stood before me. Mm. I started talking. Do you know who you are? Who are you? Who am I? He said, you have a mission mm. on earth. And we didn't send you here just like others. You have a mission on this earth. 
So I said, which mission? They said, when the time come, you will know. We came to inform you that it is time. And go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yes. And that uh, as you are growing from today, this seventh year, you, can, you will no longer eat food. Three, three angels. Three angels appeared. appeared. One of them was talking to you. The one of them was talking to me. The one in the center Ooh. was talking to me. And he said that from these seven years, you will not eat any food made of fire until you become 18 years. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe they were giving me... No cooked food. Yes. I believe, I thought they were giving me instruction to, to follow. I told them, uh, if I go now, finish, I go eat my food. After all, no one there with me. So as, as they left, I said, I go eat now. No, just talk now, come out. Mm -hmm. So he did me the cooked food. I want to eat. If I eat it, if I swallow it, I will vomit it. Mm -hmm. No food enters and stay made of fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, made of fire. You know, my mother came here one time to give testimony. She gave me one time to give the testimony. Yes. This is the testimony. You know? And uh, it continued. I thought it was a joke. So my father came one day and dropped a bundle of money. Brought money out, drop it, and say, if I can swallow two uh, food here and swallow it, no vomiting, you give me this money. Hmm. My head swelled up. Okay, thought you were making it and up. I thought I was making it up. Maybe yes. I was trying to avoid food. Because they were all afraid. My mother was afraid that if she dies now, how will I survive? You know, it's a polygamous family. Everybody with their own children. So if mm. anything happens to her now, how will I survive? And I was the only son then. So she was so worried, and I cannot eat. So my father dropped that money. I took, uh, I told her to give me draw soup. Because mm. so draw soup goes fast. So I said, if I swallow that draw soup, at least it go faster to my stomach. Mm. They gave me, I used my hand, did like this, smooth it long. I ro rolled it on the soup. and put it in my mouth and swallowed it. It didn't enter. Small time, the stomach turned again. It came out again. Huh. My father looked at me and said, I'm tired of this. is all I can do. If you, it's destined for you to die, then die with hunger. Huh. So my mother now uh, got an alternative, alternative relative. She would go and get. Um, you didn't tell them what they had told you? What no, I didn't angels? tell my mother that time. Mm. So I kept quiet. I was afraid because she, she would talk me out of it. Yeah. They would talk me out of it. If I'm talking, they say, uh, my stepmother says, I'm a witch. That I'm a witch. That's why I cannot enter her shrine because there's a shrine in the house. Mm. And the angel specifies that I should not eat those food because most of the meat prepared in that house were sacrificed to any of those idols. Wow. Yes. Before, before any meat can be eaten. In that house, every day they kick fowl, it's not be fowl, it will be goat, ram, like that in those shrines. So the Lord, the, the angel was telling me that I should not eat any food, meaning because of those meat that were being prepared in those shrines. To protect you from it. Yes. Yes. So they told me the reason in details. So I didn't tell my mother until I became eight years that I called my mother. When she was getting worried, I called her, I told her, I said, I cannot die. Say, why do I say? I said, so people came to me, I didn't know it was angel. Mm. People came to me and they said they are from the Lord that sent them and that this is the message. Mm. My mother said, which Lord? I said, I don't know. They said they are from the Lord. That there's this, I should not eat any food. I say, if you're sure you will not die, eh, let me be sure that you are not going to die. Hey. I said, I will not die. Forget about that. I have strength. So my mother will now go to the market and buy Milo, Milo and Mick. This bon vita, this bon vita. Eh, beverages. Eh, in beverages. Those bread, I used to make small, small bread. Like that. Those small, small, small bread. Eh, she will buy it plenty. So it's why we eat in the morning bread and tea. In the afternoon bread and tea. In the night bread and tea. Wow. Then. Tell us what you are still eating now. <laughs> it's okay, go ahead. It's so, uh, small time again, my mother will get, my mother get an idea again. She'll go and get Gary, this uh, white Gary, buy sugar and put milk. I will be drinking it if I come back for school. So I got no, and nothing's wrong with me. I was very okay. Mm. No hospital, no sickness, not, nothing. I was just okay. Until I became, now when I was uh, now around uh, nine years, the angel came back again, three of them. They first of all asked me, the journey that my father said would take me to London for study because I was very brilliant when I was in secondary school. So he promised to take me to London to study. He said, that journey that my father told me will not work again, no. I said, ah, why? My father promised me, he said, Abuja, he promised me he would do it. They said, he would not do it. He would die, he would die on the social date. They said he would die on um, a few years after that day. 
I will die in the evening. So, so time. Why? He said the other wife will kill him. Huh. They told me in detail what will happen and how he will die. So, and I said, should I tell my mother? I said, no. If I tell her, there will be quarrel in the family. So I should not say it. But for my information, she will die. So we were there. That date came, he died. By accident. He died. And by accident. The vehicle, his, his car, his driver was, I don't know what happened. Going to the driver, Shegu, said he was driving on the road. He saw a dog cross the road, exactly as the angel told me. And the driver said that suddenly, when he got to that spot, the dog crossed. The motors are assorted. Ooh. And it was only my father that died. The driver came out alive. The other man that was following him came back alive. It was only him at the back that died. Ooh. And that was exactly what the angel told me that day. The second one came and said it. After that, <clears throat> you know, now no father, it's only my mother. Everything was taken from my mother. I was just alone with her. The, senior, the first children came and packed everything and left me and my mother alone. Just like that. So I, I, I decided that, no, I will go and make money. Hmm. I was looking for a way to make money. So these uh, weaknesses, those weaknesses. Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry not to cut. Was it this period you were stammering? Yes, very thank you, sir. Yes. I was detailed in stammering. You know what I remember? Uh, you know, when the angel, what you are telling me now, uh, that the angel... Uh, told you, no, don't say it. It will cause quarrel. Yes, sir. And I was wondering what they will use to stop you from talking. I said, maybe that's why they made it to be a stammer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was detailed in stammer, sir. My stammer is, when I say something, you don't want to answer me, I can throw, in fact, I can carry anything up and throw it away. In fact, in class then, they used to be afraid, sitting near me, so that I won't get angry and hit somebody. Because if I want to say something, I will Trying to say something. Uh, I will stand up, carry chair. I will be the person. Uh, so, because that of that. Very serious. Very serious. My was very, very serious. So, I don't talk. I will just be looking at everybody. If you are talking, I will be looking at you. So, one day, while I was preparing to come to Lagos, yes, I got an address that my step senior brother, who was the custom officer, was living in Lagos. Yeah, he was a big man then. So, I got a contact of him from his, a friend that came for a burial. They said, your brother, I get money for Lagos. You didn't hear this offer. They said, they, they with your mother, take this address, go meet him. He go give you a fine job for you. Mm. So I, I, I called him, did he pick? So I came to Lagos uninvitedly. So he saw me. He worked on, he worked on me. I was staying with him. You know, suddenly one day, he just woke up because he came to Sele. He used to go to Sele in Barak. Yes. And I'm Barak there. Then, one day, he took me to Sele on Sunday. They said the prophet said um, that I will be very, very great, popular, reign. In fact, I will reign around the many, many, many countries. He said, but I will not remember him. <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said, the prophet told him that, that I will be popular, but I will not remember him. I said, brother, you wait me that time come now. <laughs> if, that time come, if that time come, I don't remember you, then you will know that the, the prophet is going to pass. He said, no, that prophet, everybody know him. Whenever he says something going to pass. So in other words, go to the village. Was it the village? Ah. Leave my house. I should leave his house. I need to leave his house. As Some as prophecy. To, yes. He has to leave his house. To where he said, I will give you money. In fact, I will take you to the park. He did it to my two. He brought me from that place to my two. And paid and, money. And paid for direct to Uromi. No, I make there that moved to Uromi direct. He paid those vehicles. He paid the driver money. He said, he called a policeman. He said, he wear uniform. He said, I'm not for him. So he called a police, a police, those police traffic order. He said, monitor this boy for me. Make sure he remain in this car. Then he wants to move. The policeman answered him, at him, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. The minute he left, the policeman faced him walk. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me. Yeah. So then I, I, was, I was now at the middle of the seat. Then when one woman wanted to enter, I now told the man I want to eat myself. It's okay, I should go. He directed me. So I was going. Let me turn. I jumped. I saw a woman, one woman, one bini woman. Mama Osara, Osara. I saw him at the post stop. He said, ah, Where are you going? I said, ah, my brother said I should leave this house. He said, ah, why? I said, he said, he said, prophet, he said, prophet, not said. He didn't look at me. Daddy, standing in that place, Juma opening, uh, there's a rapper she died, opening a rapper, and brought out a key, just this padlock key, opener. I said, do you know Olut, um, Alakija? I said, yes. 
Say when you stop in Alakija, take a bag. Say you are going to um, Ijegu Satellite Town, Ijegu Satellite Town. Say go to Inkulala Avenue. Say number 26. Say go there. Say room 6. That is his former fiance's, uh, his fiance's uh, house. The man have left to uh, abroad now. As you go and stay there. There's nothing there. Just foam and two pot and stove. Go there and Ooh. pick up from there. If you pick up from there, from there you will. If God really sent you to Lagos, God will take care of you from Ooh. there. And that was how I remained in Lagos. Hallelujah. I went there and I got all that she said. So I started staying there, you know, like that. Like you know that. what that reminds me? Sir. That song, then Jesus came. The tempter's power is broken. Yes, sir. And I stood alone beside the highway begging. He clutched his rags and shivered in the shadows. Oh, yes.
that stage, you were not yet close with Jesus. At all. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to pray. <laughs> can, can you see, see scriptures being fulfilled? I don't even know how to pray. When you didn't know him, he knew you. you know, I didn't even know how to pray. There was no church that I would, I would go. It was, it was the one he forced me to sell it. If I read that, I'm looking at everybody. You were not interested, uh, or why, why, why were you not? Uh, no, I remember why I was still in the village. Yes. Those weaknesses. Jehovah, we Jehovah, when they come, if they come, the first day they come and jam me and gave me a book to be studying, and they will come next Sunday to give me another book. So while I was looking at those books that they gave me, they gave me yes. those angels came and told me, there is a place you are Ooh. going to, they didn't mention Lagos, so I didn't know, there's no place. They said, there's a place you are going to go. There's a man of God you will meet. When you meet that man, that is where he will, he will, he will meet with you. We will meet with you when you meet that man. Mm. So I was asking, who is that man that I'm going to meet? Am I going to die early and meet God? They said, no. There's a man I will meet in a town, mm. in a big city. In that city, as they're talking, they do, one last one I did, I do her like this. I was seeing light everywhere, street light, everywhere, street light, everywhere. Say, so you are going to go to that city mm. and you will meet a man that will lead you to us. Mm. And when you meet us, that your ministry will fulfill. There is a country far beyond the sorry sun. There is a city where the never comes a night. If we are faithful, we shall go there by a cry. It's a city where the
Light, light, light. Then he reminded me, though it may be a city in Nigeria, but he reminded me of the city that Abraham saw. The same city that John saw. And that is the same city in 1990 that the Lord put my eyes and I saw it in the sky. The city that John saw. I saw it also. I saw that city. John saw that city. Maybe that's the same city you saw. Oh, yes. There is a holy and beautiful city whose builder and ruler is God. John saw it descend Easy. 
the one that brought that song. Yes, sir. John saw that city. I don't know if that is the same city you saw. I saw that city too in 1990. And, 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 and Abraham saw that city. And he was so focused on that city. Nothing earthly here would bolt him down. They lived like pilgrims and strangers. Well, continue your testimony. So they said I, I should focus on that city. Yes. I should not focus on this book they are giving me. It was then I got to know that those people there's something wrong in that they are teaching. That they are teaching. Mm. And I said that they will not come again until when I will be 18 years. They said so. They said so. Mm. To tell me when to start, I will start eating. And that before they come, spirit will come, powers will come to visit me, to ask me to worship, mm. to, show, to show me a short cut. A quick cut to show me things as you only hear. Wait until they come. Mm. So they were telling you this at that, at age, that day, uh, age eight or nine. Uh, nine now. ten. Yes. So they left. I was worried. After all, my mother, nobody go to church in my place. What they know is that my stepmother's idol in that room about twenty one idol that was twenty one idols. idols daughters they built in my room. So everybody goes there. Uh, there's native chalk, that color chalk, where they will mix with salt and sugar. Everybody will be taking a bit, rubbing a bit, putting their mouth to go out as they will pray with That's it. their protection before they go out. It was only my father that uh, does not believe those things, but the man who does not go to church. But he does not believe those things. Those things. That's why they kill him. So my mother does not believe it, but she had to believe by force. If not, they will kill her. So the house was just like that. It was only me that does not enter that room. If I enter, the spirit will be telling the woman that she will send me away and I'm a witch. Hey. So, when anytime people. I like to be a witch with Holy Ghost. A witch for Jesus. A witch for Jesus. <laughs> that where I reach, other witches will run. Yes. So, when I enter, when the big band and dance, snakes will be coming out of those uh, altars. Live snakes, daddy. Live snakes. Early in the morning by 5 a.m., 4 a.m., if you might be beating that band, it will be coming out. If I peep, when the snake saw me, they will enter back and warn her that it's not allow me near that place again. So she warned me not to near that place again. If I near that place, that or I should leave the village and go to worry and stay in Gori worry. Hey. Uh, because I'm disturbing the peace of that house. Just your presence. Just my presence. I didn't pray. I didn't know how to pray. Just uh, step there. I so, believe those angels were always around. Yes, they, they said so. That they will be with me. But I will not see them until on the 18th, on the 18th year. On the 18th year now came, they appeared and told me, you can now eat. Ooh. When they say you can now eat, this I'm telling you that the uh, Mamuda, Mamuda came here like, before, last time. She explained she, the same story. Yeah, she gave the testimony. Yes. You know, she was worried for 18 years, no food, but I was okay. 
Maybe that maybe the only thing is that I, I became slimmer. Everybody became uh, Are you fat now? Eh? Like I'm not being fat. Everybody knows that. So mm. So everybody, you know, my junior brother, you know him now. Yes. He, he looked fresh, you know, big yellow too. So and um, before the 18 years, the promise they gave, the prophecy they gave that some demons will come. Mm. They came. They came. Some if a voice would just come and say, go to the backyard. There are three stones at the backyard near that purple tree. Carry this three stone. Anything you want to know, throw it on the ground and design it. Hey. Hey. Ah, I said, where? He said, just go, you miss the stone there. I thought that play, I, I went. I made the three stone. Three, this smooth stone. Three. I made all that. I picked them. So I, I threw it. They want me not to do it, but I, did, I just want to test what they're saying. So I threw it. And I was designing those stones. Ooh. What those things were saying there, I, I was. I was you were hearing it. it. Yeah. I would know what the students were saying. Ha. <laughs> then the next day, another one came. Another one, one woman with gold everywhere came and said, uh, I should go to the backyard on the top of the um, a well. There's a, a, a shining thing there. I should swallow it. If I swallow it, all my teachers in school will be afraid of me. Hey. Ha. I said, try swallow this one. I said, swallow it and go to school. Everybody will be afraid of you. That was where I, 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 what I, what I did that brought Wahala for me. Mm. I went and carried that thing. It was very small, it was like bead, but no bead. Small, white. And I put it, I want to swallow it, it's no entry. So the woman told me I should put a bar and put uh, something, so put, a, put something and swallow it by force. I did. You know, get I said, it's okay. I should just drink water, carry water. I said, I want to drink drug. I put it and put the water and I swallow it. That night, my breath stopped. Ooh. I could not breathe again. They thought my mother thought I was dead. Everybody thought I was dead. In fact, they, they, they say I am dead, that they should wait till the evening to go and bury, bury me. It was at the, uh, around 4.30 to 5. Youth. No, it's a, I'm a baby boy and a boy now. So uh, this the youth that buried such person. So the youth now came with their shovel, with their digger to carry me out from the room where they left me. But in that room where they thought I was dead, I was not dead. I was somewhere. And some of us stand before a king. A very giant king with a white beard from head to toe is white. Stand, sit it down. And I was before the king. And the king was asking me, why did you swallow it? Why did you disobey? Hey. Why did you believe what they told you? Why did you disobey? After telling you, why did you uh, disobey them? The voice that, would, that spoke to you, the angel that, said, that came to you. Why did you disobey that? I was just looking at the king. The king now stood up. He said, Now vomit it out. Oh. Amazing grace. He said, Vomit it out. Amazing grace. Why? He made it say, Vomit it out. And then I have that same thing fell down in that place where I was. Hallelujah. Then small time, he said, Go before they touch your body. Go. The, but the gate I passed when I was coming was stressful to come. But to go back was very easy. I don't know how it happened. All the gates were opening by themselves. Mm. Suddenly, I got myself with wool everywhere. And they locked the door from outside. I said, thank God, it's this old house where no uh, potato. So if you open it, you can, you can climb into and come out. <laughs> come out. <laughs> so I tried the door to open. So I opened the door, the window. The window. I came down from the window. I went through the, this thing. Made a, my mother saw me. My mother ran. Everybody was running. That, uh, that my ghost is stopping the open. Because the, the, the door was locked now. So they were saying, ah, my ghost don't have to stop it everywhere. Everybody was running up and down. Even people with shovel, they ran. ran. But <laughs> suddenly I told my mother, I said, why are you running away from me? My mother was running. I said, but they told you who I, who I was before you gave it to me. She's not shocked. I said, come, not me. It's me. She came. She was the only one that agreed to come close to me and oh, touch me. Love. And maybe she touched me. She told me that I was flesh. There was I was life, alive. Then, but they said, who, who is that inside the house? I said, I don't know. But me, this is me. <laughs> that one I was, I don't know. So they went and opened that door. Nobody was there. Anybody. They said, what happened? I said, I passed through the window now as a locked door. So where did you go? I said, I went somewhere. <laughs> so I told my mother, I told my mother the stories that happened. And we... The, the youth, they now say that uh, they will do some things because they have already cried in my head. I don't know what they had. They, 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 they cried uh, in my head already. Unstoppable grace. Uh, 
So, my other mother said, anything they are doing, I don't know. Me, I'm not involved in anything again. As I'm here now, I want to follow that, that angel that told me those people that came from the, the Lord. Because they say they are from the Lord. Mm. Say, I want to follow those people that came from the Lord. So that was how I waited. On the 18th day, year of my birthday, I mean of the year, the birthday of my 18th years, I started eating food. If they bring food, I rush it. Bring rice, I rush it. Mm. Bring rice, I rush it. Before the right time, they said, now you know we think good. And bad, you know what is sacrificed to an idol and what is killed naturally. Say so now, do the needful. Mm. You know the good and for the bad now. And now go ahead. That, that was the grace. That was grace. Then Can I, we clap our hands again for our God? Let's clap our hands for our God. Then yes. I entered. I I took it like that, growing no church like that, like that, like that until. And the, the, my school period in secondary school. If they give me a question paper for table, if I drop a question paper, the next thing I'm seeing answer sheet. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring some of my results to you so you'll see them. Eh? You'll be shocked what you see. <laughs> they will drop question paper. At the side of that question paper, it will be answer sheet. <laughs> so I, I, I'll bring my certificate, sir. I became the uh, SP. Of the Senior prophet. Of the Senior prophet. From <laughs> Senior prophet. The, the, the school decided to make me the SP. In fact, the principal decided to even adopt me home. That ah, that I'm too brilliant. I lie. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> as, as, as they are putting the paper there, before the, the man that would draw the paper will turn back, I'm the answer sheet. Before 10 minutes, I have submitted I'm, I'm not finished. So everybody will point at me and say, ah, when did you write this? I say, ah, not be me. They search me now. They will search, 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 search. Say, what did they do? Well, do this in there. <laughs> so, from, from uh, SS1, they make me SP. I, I become SP. SP, if, if teachers are on teachers' uh, meeting, teachers' meeting, they will send me to coordinate all these uh, prefects yes. to coordinate the whole school. <laughs> Survive the whole school until they finish their meeting. So I become that so special. I'll bring my results to you so I will see them. Ooh. The certificate they gave me, testimonial. It was written there, SP. So, um, that is how all we're going. And you came to Lagos. I went to Lagos. Yes. By that address. Again. By that address now. To my, to my brother. Your, your brother my drove brother you away. Saw the, because your future is going to be better than him. Uh, he will not remember him. Yes, I will remember him. <laughs> that I will be very, very popular. Very, very popular. And the worst of all is that the first money I made, then he was having problem. The first car, I gave it to him. So, the first money that I make, I paid the child school fees. So, so, the the, prophe- so, so the prophecy was false. Was false. Because somehow, 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 he got to know that I'm a pastor now. He said, he said, he said I have to be pastor now. And I said, yes. He said, hey, you, pastor. But the man don't tell me to be, be pastor. The man said, your star will shine. Who tell pastor? Uh-huh. I said, the, the, the man asked God how the star will shine. Uh-huh. So he came to my house then at uh, this thing, at Ejiboye uh, that time. He came. He said, ah, so now you get this car. I said, huh? See? So you don't go home that time. I said, I don't go home, my daily <laughs> You know? So I, Amen. so that was how he continued. Until it is time to marry. That was what brought me to you. Yes. So I, I met a girl I wanted to marry, Ngozi. I, I agreed to marry her. We were dating. We keep ourselves, we struggle to keep ourselves. Very, very difficult, but we struggle. Well, we struggled. I struggled. <laughs> I struggled. I appreciate she, she heard this music and she remembered the, the day it happened. So, I, I, uh, one day she came to the house while preparing for December for the marriage in proper. She came to my house that she need money for to buy some items for you no know, women things, women things to go for traditional marriage. In a short form of it all. She entered into, as we're going back, she entered into this uh, wash, wash. money wash, wash, wash people. 419. 419. From Kaja to, I don't know where she was going to. Then the wash, wash man, wash bull, they took her to a place where they took an oath with water. You know, they drank the thing, according to her. And they were forced to take a road and they would buy a chemical to wash those dollars. That everybody should bring money to buy the chemical. The chemical is too expensive. That's what she told me. I did that. I've not seen them before. So she went 
the money I gave her for those uh, items, she gave it to the wash wash. The one she saved her home already, she saved for herself. She went and gave them, give them the money. So, I don't, I don't know how uh, one of them discovered that she wanted to marry. One of them said, ah, go say that. You want to marry? She said, yes. She said, if you marry that man, you're not going to be And that girl loved me so much. So, she was asking the man what, what to be done. The man said, ah, that she will drink, he will drink something and they will, he will pass it through uh, his organ <laughs> to, uh, to break that thing inside her, her womb. That's how he slept with her. That's how the man slept with her. The man finished and I said, ah, I could not do it too. Maybe my, my colleague would try and drink it. Let's see whether... She was the one confessing all this she to She told you me, later. yes. So she all of them, that's how one by one... All of them drink the water and slept with her on the couch in the office, the office there. So when she now came, uh, I just wanted she was also cold because I have not slept with her. For all those why I have not touched her. So she was so cold. Unlike me, I really sacrificed on that. <laughs> no, I know where I was coming from. So I really sacrificed keeping her waiting for that day. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> like me, sir. Yes. So I know where I was coming from. You know where you are coming uh, yes. from. All the guests that I met before. Mm. I, I did I did it. Yes, you so, are an unbeliever. Everybody did yeah. why are people laughing? Everybody did it. <laughs> don't so, look like uh, so look on this did. case. I, I sacrificed very well because I was preparing my the day I would tear the letter. Preparing myself. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I December was where I was waiting my mouth my mind to. Then November this happened. And he brought that story to and somebody me. slept with her. So the guy confessed to me. Yes. So first of all I told her before the first church. I said, okay, come, come and stay in this house. Let me see. Let, let's be together. Let me see if I can build back. Because right now I'm cold seeing you. So she came. Ah, nothing happened. I cannot build anything again. I'm not able to build the relationship again. I don't, I don't know that person. I cannot build. I'm not seeing her again as somebody that I, I loved. Because of that action. Because I said, whenever I remember the thing, but what I did was to I made sure I arrested them. They, they sent her out of the country. They treated her. They, those people had big, big men. Big, big men behind them. In Central, I got to know big men that came to bail them. To bail them, to ask for their bail. Because the police were bending them on the, on the tree, hanging them, bent them to confess. Torturing them. Uh, to confess. As the confess finished, so, so, so one man just came and said, I released them. I have spoken to the commissioner of police. Then there's, you know, like that, 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 that. Then, then uh, a call came from Abuja that has yes. not been released. Oh. They insisted the girl must be treated. Uh, yeah. so they treated the girl and they paid the money they took from her and compensated her. Ooh. And they released them then. But if, uh, fortunately, I cannot. You, you, you could not connect again I with her. I could not connect with her again. Yes. Uh, that was a disconnect. If I see her, I'm seeing something else. I don't, I don't know. Yes. It's better I don't even know at all that anything such happen than to know. Mm. I'm very painful. So that, I told her I'm, I'm not going to do it again. Yes. So she started looking for solution up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's down. how she came to, she to came Pride to Assembly. Assembly. One of our programs. Yes, on Tuesday program. Yes. She came to church. Then uh, a prophet, Prophet Joseph also, yes. picked her up and said, yes, Joseph. I said, there is a man you want to marry. Hey, she jumped up. She was, she was excited that they mentioned the case. Yes. And that uh, he lives in so -so -so, number nine, so -so -so place and, and so -so place. He said, yes, yes, yes. The guy was jumping up. And I said, and you are praying that uh, uh, he should forgive you so you can, you can marry based on what happened. Joe didn't mention what happened. No. Yes. And I, and I said, yes. And I said, God said, uh, you should go and bring that man to this place. That this is that man's address. If that man step here, God said he will settle your marriage. Hey. Ah, she looked. She, she, she was trying to ask questions. You know, it was Mike like this from my mouth now. Yes. So she could not ask what she wanted to ask. Because it was not cancelling. So she left, believing that I am the solution. Coming, oh, coming yeah. there will be the solution. Yeah. So she came um, the, next the next Friday. Friday. To my house in the evening. Started begging me. There was a VG. They said the, the man said they see you. This one, this one, this one. I said, ah. You don't go back, go tell the pastor, say, I don't want to marry you again. The pastor can't convince me to marry you. I know I'm not going. Hmm. So I was just, you know, deciding her. She got angry and entered her and go. The next Friday again, she came again. I said, as you follow her now, that the man said, until I come. I said, I'm not coming. She told me, as you're about going, I heard the voice now by myself. Hmm. He said, 
follow that trade and you will see that light. Hi. Ah. Hallelujah. I, I said, which trade? He said, follow her and you will see where we are. See the light you are looking for. I called her. I said, where the church day? He said, Mafuluku. I said, how the church be? He said, you know, no, no, church now. Nah. Now nah, come. I said, when? He said, today, this night. Okay, I follow her. Joseph Vigil. Joseph Vigil. So I follow her. So why I was at the, uh, you were at the altar preaching. I was at the tree. You know, the Jaiola in Los house. Yes. Uh, it was, uh, there's a tree yes. in between the hand uh, that we to put. Uh, in the overflow. The yeah. overflow. So I was at the back, sitting down. So you were preaching, you were preaching, you were preaching, you were preaching. And you mentioned something that strike me that was tight. Mm. You said, tight is not for the pastor. Tight is for the use of the church. My blow. Why? Because the church I'm coming from, in that place, and I mean they can't the money. If I can't have been a pastor boot at the puta. <laughs> no, it's no story, say that tell me story. I will count the money because the pastor trusts me very well. So I will count the money and put inside his boot and close it. He will zoom to his house. Nobody counts it. <laughs> With the envelope like that, he will just drop inside the boot. Don't go. Hmm. I said, ah. and, and I one day I was asking the pastor, that pastor, I said, Pastor, I went to one church. Oh, and the pastor said that this tithe is for, is for, he said, ah, the pastor not know what he talk. <laughs> I said, do you, I said, pastor, you sit down and listen to this, no. <laughs> Does it mean that that man don't need money? <laughs> oh, you know, is that man in Nigeria? He don't need money, I'll be with you. He said, you know, some of them, they, they, they don't, don't, go, don't go there again, no, don't go there again. You go to F5, you go there. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I said, okay, I've had you. The next day, Sunday, I come home. Uh-huh. I mean, I come, I don't come to church, I come to church again. You still preach, 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 preach. You know, you, you still preach and that is entered. You still preach and that is entered. You and I now change seats. So when I say that time we take for church, where where? Yes. We were there for morning to evening. Evening. So I was able to if we, anybody come up for seats, I go change seat. Anybody come up for seats, I go Until you reach front. I can't reach front. Huh? I was enjoying you were just talking. No be prophecy, oh. nobody give me any prophecy again. Now that message that you are preaching. Now kept me. I was just cool. So you were talking many things that I have not heard before. Mm. You were saying many, many things. And all the church I have been there in Lagos here, if I want to do an exam to baptize, I could fail. <laughs> they will say, I will repeat the exam next year again. So you they could not baptize I you. could not baptize. Nobody baptized me until I enter right Brian Assembly. So that day that I was baptized, you know, I was baptized about the baptism. Why was the angel not coming to give you an answer? No, no, now, now they have <laughs> led me to where I was going to and they left me now. <laughs> they left you. To, 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 you know, yeah. I, I cannot explain it. Yes. No more answer, no more question. They just left me now. Mm. I said, no, no, I'm, I'm there where they want me. Yes. After baptism, I went that day, I baptized, I came back. I said, ah, I baptized. That one, exam, exam, exam. I don't know the pastor. How do, now, I don't, I don't do this one now. I came. They just preach. They said, do you believe? I said, yes. They said, go and baptize. Just like that. I said, this thing did different though. Mm-hmm. So I was just following like that, joining. And now got angry and joined coordinator. I joined the coordinator department. I was working. I was so much. Because any, any church I go, I used to, to, to be a you know, private person. Even yes. my former church, if I give message, the man was okay. Wait. Uh, you don't, I still got talking. He said, don't worry. I will say it. Don't don't tell anybody you didn't go. Just leave <laughs> <laughs> I will be the one to say it out. You know, you know, I know how to say it. I know how to say it. Don't worry. Then if I finish, you go out there. The Lord said, told, said this morning that this is this is will happen. And uh, and, uh, and uh, is anybody like this name? Yeah. It was the person to come and say, the Lord said that you should not go to that place tomorrow. This is what will happen. You are going to some place tomorrow. You say, yes, sir. Say, God said you don't go. You see? I'm telling you people, God is here. <laughs> so me, me, me I'm, I'm happy that I was happy that he's giving the message. So I was just there. That you remember the pastor I said I brought to you one time. That time that he was saying that I must come back. I told you now. Yes. He said, he said I must come. He's the man. He said I must come back to his, his church. church. That I must come back. That he uh, did call it. That I should come back to his church. <laughs> that was the pastor. Yes. So you know, continued like that. Me when I came here, I was not a coordinator. Working. I want to be working for God. While I was walking, you know, something happened one time. We had an, let me just cut it short. We had an accident. 
Yes. As they, as they, as they come to church. As a coordinator. Yes. As a coordinator. While I was um, about to testify. But all this while God talks to me. But you are not talking. Uh, no, 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 no. It was, it was only somewhere. Prophet somewhere and the prayer group. That they would take me to mountain. I would be want to prophesy for all the everybody there. They, they, they will come back. Would, uh, somebody will say, uh, keep it yourself. Not be now. Just relax. Not be now. Not be now. <laughs> another, relax. another one. Relax. Not be now. Relax. He didn't want us to know you. Uh, relax. Not be now. When time comes. Because I didn't know you. Uh, you, you not, not be now, time but I will go. He, even to his village, to places. He was taking you to travel. Places for li 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 liberation. liberation. Yeah. In fact, it was him that taught me how to do liberation. I didn't know what liberation Wonderful. We'll go liberation, I'll prophesy, we'll do things. If I come back... And, and then I will not know. <laughs> I don't know, because anybody should know me. <laughs> so, so when you drop me at... Um, if you finish, you drop me in my bus stop. Uh, in a five, 500, 200, 300, 1,000, 2,000. As you take, you know. I said, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Said, yeah, bye -bye. He said, be praying, be praying, be praying. You know, you, know, you talk with the toilet. Yes. Be praying, be praying, be praying, be praying. Uh, now, now... I will not go home. <laughs> I must stay at home. <laughs> so I was like that with him. So after the accident, I was coming to, to thank God. Why I stood at the line in the back to come and thank God, that angel came. He said, I told you. Sorry, sir. That day, that same day. That same day. Had, you had that. Uh, you had an accident, you came to testify. Yes, yes. on the road to Kuma, coming to, to the church, altar. you had an accident. Yes. yes. Then, at the, when I was coming down from the church here to come and testify at the altar, dancing out with uh, Brother Cosmos or something. Yes, Cosmos. While we were coming out, I heard the voice say, Shibi, you are hiding. Today, I'm going to expose you. Huh. I said, What did I do? He said, you are hiding from me. I'm, I'm be asking you to submit yourself to the authority. You are hiding from me. So I just say, I say, because I you, I know what you want to do. Anything you know I did, that is good. Say it. If it's bad, say it. So while I was testifying, I was just there, thanking God. I mean, give, telling people how we had accidents, how we escaped from death, everybody died, how we came out alive. You no, know? Then I have these bruises in my hand, these bruises. Yeah. And I was just saying how we had the accident. While I was testifying, you stood off from your seat, daddy. Yes. You jump off from your seat and run to the altar and pick the mic from the person I that was. I remember that. Day. For the, for the green, I say, yes. Thus says the Lord, you, this is my prophet. Mm. Imagine you say, my prophet, the whole church went wide. Because mm. someone who knows me, someone who secretly knows me through somewhere, everybody oh. were shouting, screaming everywhere. Yes. Then, you know, I know say, the Lord said you should anoint me after that oil touches me. Mm. You became another man. That was how. Uh, you became another man. That's where you became converted. Yes, sir. That's where you became a, <laughs> <laughs> a minister in this church. On, until last uh, month, no, yes, after ordination, I became a minister, full minister, you know. Then last month, while I was still in, in holiday, in the beach where I was standing there like that, the same three angels visited, came again. But why? What I asked them was, "Now they old? Now still they ask? Now they that time? Because <laughs> the same, the same way they wear, the same thing, the same wear. No old, no no younger, no older. I said, "Now they old?" And I said, "We are not, we are not yet uh, for talk. Go and change your name to Joseph." Oh. They told you that was yes. when they came again and they said you should change your, your name. name to Joseph. And you were asking them. I said, why? They said, change your name to Joseph. It is time for another move. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I said, why will I change my name to Joseph? Now what? Give me a reason. What is the benefit I will get if I change the name to Joseph? And I said, that is what the Lord says. Go and change your name to Joseph. They went. As they go, me, I forget, I don't, I don't worry, because I'm used to angels, so I don't know nothing but that's me. Mm. Until that, the first Thursday I resumed, I was, <laughs> that surprised me today, I'm just worried, I was confused. I was just, since that on my own, the next I had, you pick up, you, you send me, you pick my king and said, there's somebody here, God told you to change your name 
to Joseph. You were so specific. <laughs> as the angel were specific. <laughs> the, the voice, you know, your voice was now to my ear. Was repeating the same voice. You were talking at the altar. Yeah. But I, I was hearing the voice from the angel. As if they were the one talking. So I said, I will not come outside. I will not come outside. So old identity is gone. It's gone. Now, now the new, new identity. identity. The story of the believers. That's all we've we'll take for today. But that reminds me, from all these testimonies, you raised me up to stand upon. That is our testimony. That is our testimony.
bless you. Testimony of a Christian.